Hi, welcome back to the last minute cheat sheet for the Google Cloud certifications. This is the last topic of the GCP PDE exam. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your comments or questions on the last minute cheat sheet series. Let's go through Google Cloud Pub Sub's last minute cheat sheet today. The question of Pub Sub in both the GCP PCA and the PDE exams are pretty easy. Any question in the third exams on messaging service, you should consider pub sub. You may have questions that you need to choose the solution between pub sub and Kafka in the PDE exam. Pub sub is very similar to the Kafka but I will compare the difference with the exam tips between these two in the next video. Before we go through PubSub's message flow diagram to understand how PubSub works, let's take an overview on PubSub. Google Cloud PubSub is a fully managed messaging service and ingestion for event driving systems and streaming analytics. It offers durable message storage and real-time message delivery with a high availability and a consistent performance at scale. PubSub provides global messaging routing to simplify multi-region systems. From the PubSub message flow diagram, you can see it decouples sends and receivers. A publisher first creates a topic in the PubSub service and sends messages to the topic. A message contains a payload and optional attributes that describe the payload content. Then the service ensures that published messages are retained on behalf of subscriptions. A published message is retained for a subscription until it is acknowledged by any subscriber consuming message from that subscription. PubSub forwards messages from a topic to all of its subscriptions individually. A subscriber receives messages either by PubSub pushing them to the subscriber's choosing endpoint or by the subscriber pulling them from the message. The subscriber sends an acknowledgement to the PubSub service for each received message. The service removes acknowledged messages from the subscription's message queue. The communication between publisher and subscriber can be one-to-one, -one, one to many many-to-one, and many-to-many -many relationships. PubSub provides both push and pull delivery. PubSub simplifies the event distribution by replacing synchronous point-to-point -point connections with a single high availability asynchronous bus. So the publisher never waits. A subscriber can get the message now or anytime within seven days. PubSub guarantees at least once delivery. A subscriber asks each message for every subscription. A message is resent if subscribes takes more than X date 9 to respond. Messages are stored for up to 7 days. A subscriber can extend the deadline per message, but uh, the latency out of order duplication will happen in PubSub. To solve these issues, Cloud PubSub and Cloud Dataflow can work together to provide exactly once ordered processing. PubSub handles exactly once delivery and Dataflow handles deduplication, ordering, and the windowing. Separation of duties enable a scalable solution that surpasses bottlenecks in the computing messaging systems. 
You can review um, the last minute cheat sheet of cloud data flows to learn more details of uh, data processing in Dataflow. Now let's take a look at the publisher and the subscribers endpoints. You can see in the diagram the publisher can be any application such as end users, web or mobile applications, host on the Google Cloud Computer Engine or on-premise network, or streaming IoT data from IoT devices, or the third-party on-prem legacy service, as long as the application can make HTTPS request to the pubsub.googleapis.com. The subscribe can be Dataflow or other processing pipeline services to such a to, then to the data warehouse or data replicas or the services, um, microservices on the cloud functions, or GCE, or GAE, or uh, GKE. And even the legacy and third-party service, as long as the pool subscribes can make HTTPS requests to pubsub.googleapis.com. A push subscribes must be webhook endpoints that can accept a post request over HTTPS. The last one is the PubSub integration diagram. You can see PubSub can integrate with the many components of Google Cloud. I will skip PubSub's monitoring and audit logs since there wasn't any question over these two topics in my PDE exam. I will go through the IAM, message encryption, and PubSub vs. Kafka in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.